Okie dokie, so I believe we are about ready, so uh, let me be the first to thank you for attending the Scrunchable Cadaver StarCraft 2 Final Live. That should probably be Live Final, I don't know. But no, the day has come, we picked a prime time of Tuesday evening, and uh, the parties have assembled. We have Mr. Kanelaw, the Zerg, versus Mr. Tilt, the Tan Terran of Tilt, mm. in a repeat of the semi-final, uh, but both of them have proved their metal on numerous occasions, and they are fully deserving to be in the final. Ooh, exciting, exciting, exciting. We've got uh, a bit of a build-up for this. It's uh, It's been a long time coming. It, it feels like about six months ago we started this little quest to Probably find out who was the best amongst uh, all our tens of viewers, or listeners, should I say, <laughs> the podcast. Yep. And uh, here we are at the final. And uh, it's a rematch of sorts. That's it. I mean... Um with today being the final, it will be a best of seven. So um, yeah, we could have up to seven games here, but it's the first of four. Mm -hmm. We'll take it. Um, I believe both parties are ready at the moment as well. They are. I think. I don't know. I think Tilt's got the nerve, so I bet he's thrown up in a toilet somewhere. Well, I've been I've been talking to, to both of them of a way, but uh, uh, Kinder <laughs> says he's very nervous as well. So. Yeah, I know he's got it all to lose. I mean, um, he uh, won the semi-final. With Mr. Tilt, he took that, but it's um, that's it. It could all be turned around. Mm -hmm. Especially now that both players have had a chance to look at the, the game, so to speak. So um, that might have decided, you know, to go a totally different tack. I mean, it's all well winning that that game, but that's not the one that counts. This is the one that counts. Um, yeah. So what 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 are both players going to do? Are they going to do something slightly different? Are they going to do stick to their stick to their guns and do what they normally do especially in a best well, of seven a best of seven um, you can play fast and loose although I imagine both players um, have got a bit of the metagame flowing through them at the moment they've got the, the pre-game jitter so I imagine the first game it's going to be very meat and potatoes we're going to see some pretty regular stuff I imagine um, just a, a, a triple M ball from tilt something like that mm -hmm. many backs um, marines more orders from tilt maybe the odd uh, siege tank if it goes that far and Kane Law, I don't know uh, just yeah keep it simple um Zergling, Bailing, and Scout. Something like that. Zer Zergling uh, yeah, and Scout. That, that'll be his. And that'll be Tilt's key, I think, is to de deny the scouting of Kindler. Stop the Overlords. Stop the Changelings. Stop all those things that he uses to know what your army composition is so that he can best prepare and know what to do. Keep him in the dark. That's it. I think, yeah, certainly going forward, it's going to be the, um, yeah, just trying to, as you say, reduce the, the sort of connaissance. And, because, um, I mean, for Terran, it is fairly simple. You don't have to. It's sort of the more I've uh, seen, even commentated on StarCraft, the more I've seen that um, it's so much more an investment for a Zerg to get involved with air, mm -hmm. with air defense. It is. So, I mean, for example, um, although Tilt would have the starport there ready to start throwing out his medibacks, which are essential to his army, he can also just, on one cycle, just produce a Viking, for example, and then put that on patrol, fly that around, and deny any sort of like overlord vision. That's exactly it. Just, uh Start picking those those boys off and just make make them spend a hundred minerals each time on building one to free and up supply. It. And that's it. And then sort of a you, yeah, you're making them spend more uh, minerals that way. B they can be sort of supply cap and see if it really put their frighteners up and just for like minimal expense on your part. Indeed. As well. So yeah, I think that'll be the overall strategy going forward. I mean, there's I don't think we can call it anything more before we get started. Really, I mean, um, it depends how the the meta game progresses. And how they decide to go. Uh, yep, yeah. so it uh, should be starting now. Um, but yes, hopefully. Um, I think if we're, we're ready, yeah, if we're done with the preambling, um, we can ask both parties to set up a game and throw us in, I reckon. Well, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to set it up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add the two boys in the call. Uh, and then we'll do the coin toss. And then awesome. we'll set up the game. How very me. So I will uh, add these two fine fellas in now. Um, let's see. He's the first to pick up. It'll be the eventual winner, I'm sure. Oh, brilliant. And you can. They're both AFK. Hello. Hello, Mr. Tilt. Hello. How <laughs> are you? Uh, it, waiting in anticipation of the start of this, hello, uh, hello. this game. And there's Mr. Kindler as well. How are you doing, sir? Uh, good evening, good evening. I'm very well, thank you. And yourselves? Oh, doing grand. So I believe you are here for some sort of final. 
I believe so. <laughs> it's just something odd. Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard about it down the grapevine. <laughs> yeah, so there have been lots of practicing. Probably not. Not. <laughs> beer, beer, beer not drinking. Beer drinking. Too much, day, too much daisy in my, for my uh, liking, but yeah, yeah. Predator practicing, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, we're going to do the coin toss. Um, I will be... I should really be filming this, shouldn't I? For, uh, for first map choice. So, who's going to call... I believe Kane Law has already shotgun heads, so... Uh, so he's already heads called so. heads, so... <laughs> are, are you witnessing this, Ant? Oh, Ant-Man's very quiet. Ant-Man's disappeared off the face of the earth, so while he sorts his technical difficulties out, I'll do the coin toss. <laughs> uh, right. And Jesus, it grown, comes up it? Tails, would you believe it? Ah, there you go. <laughs> I get to choose a map. Tails yeah. never fails, so what map are you going to start on, Mr. Tilt? What's your oh, map of choice? Well, me and Kane Law were talking earlier on about a map to play, and I think, um, what was it called? Uh, Jewel Sight. It's a GSL map. Mm. So See how, how pro you are all this GSL top? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see how to get that up. And uh, let's see. I will invite you. Hmm. Oh. Let's see, I'll invite you both in the game in a second, and uh, let's see, why is it not coming up? Uh, yes, dual you sight is in S-I-G-H-T. Oh, that's what um, it is, that's what it is. Stumped me as well. Ah, oh, so that's well. exactly it. So it's the um, GSL version? Yep. yep. Uh, that's correct, yep. Okay, no problem at all. And uh, let's speak to you two fellas in a, in a short minute. Good luck, have fun, and uh, yep. yeah, let's hope for some, co some good games. Yes, yep. definitely. It's, we're we're going to try, well, I'm going to try my best to, uh, best fight I possibly can. I'm not being negative on that, I'm going to give him hell. Yeah, <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> good yeah, man. Last one. Right, okay, <laughs> speak to you soon. Bye. Yeah, catch you later. Okay. So I've no, no Mr. Antman here at the moment. Um. Let's see. And the numerous forms of uh, communication that I have for uh, for him. Right, he's okay. He's uh went to fill up his water bottle. So we're in dual site. I'll just set up the game uh, at the moment. Um, dual site is a two v two map. Uh, with just the, the, the other the two spawns, should I say? They, if they know where uh, each other are spawning, if they know where the maps are. So I'll say you would not believe the microphone I'm having um, in a very avant-garde style of fashion. I'm now wearing two headsets at the same time. Brilliant! Nothing ever, <laughs> nothing ever goes smoothly. Jesus H Christ! I have no idea what happened. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but uh, my microphone says it's not connected, even though it is. Of my head, Never mind, at least it's happened before we start the game. That's so true. Still, um, this always seems to happen to us on Sunday nights when we're recording a podcast as well, with me, <laughs> <laughs> ironically. That's it, so, okay, right, we'll start recording, and now... And I disappear. It's just a silent, because it crashes the entire, the entire Skype call on its side. Yeah. Oh dear. Mercy. Never mind, so, yes, uh, two headsets for me, but double the enthusiasm, and on dual site, no less. It is in dual site, so, if you can, uh... I am downloading currently. Downloading the map, that's good. Uh, and I'll set the game up. So, dual site. Both, as I was just saying to to everybody, they should know each other's spawn positions on it, if they know the map at all. Um, and certainly, Tilt will, seeing as it's his choice, you would imagine that he does know the spawn positions. So, it's a GSL map. Not the one in the current season, I don't think. It's not on the current map rotation, I don't think. But, um, yeah. So, I think we'll probably see them both play conservatively to start with. Um, if I was Tilt, I would do something a bit crazy. I would I would definitely proxy racks. Just to, yeah, something to really shit him up. Just to, yeah. To put Just the... To uh, he's, yeah, he won't have any truck with any sort of uh, shenanigans going forward. That's exactly it. He's got to keep him guessing. If uh, he thinks that he's going to get a certain style on him, then, you know, Kindler will just sit back, sit back, whereas he can keep him on his toes, keep him maybe feeling a little uncomfortable. Uh, it might be all the better. 
that's it. If the threat is always there, because I mean, in um, previous games, uh, Kano has been allowed to um, just slowly uh, accumulate and um, just grow at some point, and it's um, and then, as we've said before, if uh, two players sort of go away on their own half of the map and then meet in the middle after half hour without touching each other, the Zerg will beat a Terran. <laughs> Most so of the time, yeah. I mean, he'd be able to save Larva up, he'd be able to tech up very quickly, he can take uh, bases. I mean, the the big thing about that is if you let a Zerg player take bases at will, he can have infinite Larva. So, he can always, he can do whatever he wants with, with it, you know. That's the most important thing for him. Hmm, I see. Um... I think, yeah, if, um, as we said before, um, yeah, just getting the Vikings going just to try and keep them back and also, yeah, do something a bit mental. I mean, um, I believe, yeah, he could even take a page out of my uh, long drawn out keys, my uh, key string book, and possibly get that, um, like, the six or seven racks rush. Yeah. Because it does, it's, it, if you get it, if they don't see it and they, if the first thing they see of it is when they're running up the ramp, then it's kind of too late at that point. Even if they do begin to react, it's still um, just a wave of marines coming in. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing more, yeah, nothing more annoying than that. It's but. really great, even for early pressure. Even if he does it the first time, to expand behind and keep him in his base and keep him producing units and keep him on his toes. Um, he could do a, f a follow up, um, do a follow up somewhere lo along the uh, the way. The way. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, um, once it seems my headset wasn't the only technical difficulty at the moment, uh, my internet speed has taken a complete dump. I really do not know why, but um, I'm still downloading uh, dual sight. I'm currently at 88%, 89%, 90%. It's just really exciting commentary. <laughs> we keep, keep on throwing numbers at us. It's, it's, uh... it's 91, 92, 93. Oh, but at least it's moving. It would be worse yeah. if it was sitting nowhere. Uh, <laughs> I'll just start doing them in the, in the style of William Shatner. 96. 98. Oh, I'm ready. Woo! So let's add our two players in. Add in Mr. Uh, Tilt. So and I, ironically players. enough, uh, Mr. Kainler always... Uh, he always appears as nothing on my on my list. I don't know if he's the same as you when you invite him to game. He's, he's never has any identity. So Identity? What, you mean like a profile picture? No, like a profile name. Oh, I see. No, no, it doesn't really happen to me. It's, it's your pirate version of StarCraft 2, I think. <laughs> we <laughs> both know that's not the uh, that's not the way it works. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. But no, uh, let's see. Kaimor is going for the red Terran. Uh, the red. Uh, he's the Terran. No, the Zerg. There we go. Zerg. So I'll just change his color a wee second. That threw me off as well. <laughs> the Terran. There we go. Um. Oh, he is changing colour. He's, he's keeping me on my toes. He's going for the... Ah, uh, Stefano pink. <laughs> or it's the pale colour. It's uh, more of a lilac than a pink, so to speak. Right. Let's oh, check to see if everybody's ready. Oh, their hands are shaking. They can't type. This is terrible. Uh, so we've got the game on on the uh, jail site and with go 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 and um, we're ready to start game so we're doing the long countdown as custom games do f the 10 and um, we're in <sighs> this is going to be fun with four people uh, loading at the same time mine I think it's going to be no I've lost <laughs> Yes, Tilt and Kinder are both raced ahead. I'm still downloading. I'm about, uh, three quarters complete. Oh God, I'm nowhere near it. I thought I would have won because I've been in game earlier on this evening. You're streaming though as well. Well, that is true. It's, it's eaten. And, uh, well, okay, we'll use that as my excuse. That's it. <laughs> I'm currently using 54% of my RAM. Oh, well, this is... Uh, the excitement never ends. ends. Uh, yeah, the stat like is out there. <laughs> so... It should be ready to go. You you in it? I'm in. I'm good. Ah, oh, there we go. We're started. Okay, we go. And we have.